Welcome to Toll Talks. Today, we animate characters. So I'm gonna go over 2D animations. Uh, I'm gonna leave it to you to do the reading and look over any tutorials for 3D animations. Uh, the similar, a similar approach, it's just creating the animation itself is a little bit different. So I'm going to break this up into a couple different videos. The first video will be setting up the project. The second video will be actually creating an animator. And the third video will be uh, making a script for it. So I'm going to break this video up into two different parts. The first part is creating animations to control. And the second part will be creating a controller. I'm only going to do 2D animations for the sake of time. But please read the text. It talks about doing 3D animations plus Hopefully, if you've had some sort of multimedia class or you have some experience with 3D graphics, you can create your own animations. So the first thing to do is we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call it our hero. We'll say hero. And here again it becomes vitally important that we keep. Oh, this is a new project by the way. Set the 2D graphics, um, and I've added nothing to the game yet. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder, call it sprites. We'll import some sprites. And then what, you, a little bit sloppy, technically we should have another folder that says animations. I generally keep my animations in the sprite folder and you'll see why in a moment. So first of all, if I move this over here, I created a sprite folder. I have my four wonderfully drawn hero sprites. And I'm going to move those over here. And if I look at these sprites, they look one skinny long image and it's not very helpful. So I click on it, you'll, say, you'll see a property come up here that says 2D sprite single and pixels per unit is 100. Well, first of all, these are 32 by 32 sprites. So let's just do pixel per unit 32. And then second of all, we're going to say multiple to so apply. Now I'm going to open up the sprite editor and I can slice based on size. We'll say 32 by 32 slice. And I hit apply. Now if I hit the gray arrow, you will see that I have individual uh, sprites selected. This is what I want in order to create my animation. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this up here for real quick. I'm gonna continue to do this for the other sprites. So here on the left, we're make, gonna make this 32. If I don't make this the same size, my sprites will be different size when they render to the screen. So if I forget one of these, <clears throat> if I turn right, it'll, it'll look like it's you know smaller than the other. So we don't wanna do that. Uh, we'll apply the sprite editor. Oh gosh, this is gonna get in the way, isn't it? Let me move this down here, I think. Yeah, let's be safe down here. I'll say slice, 32 by 32, slice, apply. Now I have my hero left facing set up. And I'm going to do this for the other ones too. <coughs> hmm, excuse me. So multiple, 32, apply, spray editor, slice, slice, and then we're done. Apply, sorry, we're to apply. And one more, hero up. Set bit pixels per unit, 32, multiple, apply, sprite editor, slice, slice, apply, and now we're done. Okay. So now we have the four different sprites. Now we want to create animations for them. And so this is a little bit of a tedious task. And one thing you may want to do up here is uh, you go to a window and you can go animation animator. In a moment, we're going to do that. And so we're going to need the animator, but right now we don't need it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to expand the sprite set. So this is hero down. We're going to hold shift and select the first and last one of them, or, or just the sprites you want for your animation. And then drag the whole thing up here. By default, it's going to create an animation. So we're going to call this hero down. Uh, and then you'll see what gets created is a controller and a hero down. We don't really care about the controller right now. We're going to make our own controller in the next video, so we can just delete that. This, however, we do care about. This is going to be the animation. Likewise, we can do this for hero face left. Okay. 
Again, we don't care about the controller. A hero right. Now you could, if you want, use the controller, but we're going to make, like I said, we're going to make our own, our own controller, so we're not going to worry about the ones that are made for us. And finally, hero up. The point we're trying to do here is make animations. So now they have these, these are just animations. They're not sprites, they're not game objects, they're just sprite renders with the, anima uh, the animator, but nothing else attached to them. I have the four animations right here. This is what I want to get away from, this is what I want to take away from it. So get rid of the controllers, and now we can get rid of these four the kind of dummy objects, if you will. So now that I have the sprites, you can see why I usually keep the animations inside the sprite folder. It just it makes sense in this particular case. So next video we'll create an animator, or actually we'll create the animator right now. Next video we'll talk about how to control it. So like I said, you want this window open. Go to Window, uh, Animator, Animation, Animator. So that will open this up. And what we're going to do is we're going to just drag. Uh, actually, first of all, I lied. We're going to go to Scene, and we're going to create an empty object. Game object, create uh, 2D object, and we'll say Sprite. So give a Sprite render. We can select one of our sprites just as a placeholder. We're not going to use that. We're going to use a, an, uh, we're going to use something else. So over here, after I create this, I'm going to say Physics. I don't know. I'm going to say Physics. I'm going to say. Uh, rendering, nope, not rendering. There we go, animator. <laughs> so right now we'll just have an animator. We're not actually going to have any other um, <coughs> components to this hero at the moment. So now we're going to right click here and we're going to create our our animator animator controller. We'll call it hero controller. So once again, if I click on my new sprite, which is actually just a hero, oh gosh, not like that. Um, I can now drag my hero controller up and set it to be my runtime controller. However, if I click on animator now, you'll see that I don't really have anything of, of value in this controller, it's empty, so if I run it right now, nothing will appear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop Hero down, and you're gonna see a couple things happen. For some reason I'm having, there we go. It's gonna spawn any state and entry. So entry is gonna say when, it, when the animation animator controller starts, where does it start, it's gonna move here. And then we're going to do this. We're going to copy the other four animations in. Now we're not done with the animator yet, but this will be where we stop the video. And when we return, we're going to take these and actually make an animator controller that, when I push like direction, say AS, WASD, the appropriate animation will be displayed. Thanks for watching. This has been Toll Talks. I hope you understand how to set up your project for animations. Um, until next time, cheers.